Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to what is essentially a public service announcement with MarkTech. If you want to see more from me in terms of YouTube content, you will find most of it in the live stream section of this channel. So let's get to the topic at hand. Now for the last couple of days and basically ever since the launch of the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max and the A17 Pro chips powering them, people have discussed that sometimes some phones in some scenarios will get hot, sometimes to the point of having to shut down to cool themselves off. And we have speculated to a wide variety of potential problems that could have led to this. Some uh, assume that maybe the titanium chassis was really bad at heat dissipation. Some assume that uh, the A17 Pro is just too power hungry for the chassis design. And some have said that maybe there are software issues that are to blame. Well, I've brought up all of those issues in one of my prior streams that discussed A17 Pro heat issues and performance issues issues so if you want to check it out i'll leave the link in the description below but it seems like software is actually to blame in fact apple has come out to say that they've identified a few conditions which can cause iphone to run warmer than expected the device may feel warmer during the first few days after setting up or restoring the device because of increased background activity now that is universally true all phones in around during their first week will run potentially a little warm as they have to deal with a lot of background processes as you are downloading uh, your old data from the cloud as you're just maybe experimenting with some new features on the phone testing out brightness testing out just how well it performs in games and as all of those things come together the phone just gets a little hot that's normal but usually after the first week or so, once all the old cloud data is actually on the device, properly indexed in the storage uh, and the operating system, then it returns to normal. Well, with Apple, it seems, and specifically with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it seems like there's been more to this discussion. And Apple is saying that they've also found a bug in iOS 17. This bug is impacting some users and will be addressed in a software update. They're not specifying what kind of software bug that is, nor are they specifying when exactly we're getting the fix. Some people are assuming we're probably getting a 17.03 version relative relatively soon, maybe already next week, or we might have to wait until 17.1 is finished. Regardless, I will be reporting on that. So if you want to see uh, basically my conclusions and my further testing as I explore my 15 Pro Max, please subscribe to the channel uh, to and hit the notification bell so you're informed when I actually go live, because as I said before, most content on this channel is live streams. <laughs> so another issue, according to Apple involves some recent updates to third-party apps that are causing them to overload the system. We are working with these app developers and fixes that are in the process of rolling out. So it seems like Apple is relatively on top of that and probably started in like in the first 48 hours once those reports started coming out. In fact, they're uh, even naming some of those apps like Asphalt 9, Instagram and Uber. Um, I don't use any of those apps, but I've heard from a lot of people online that Instagram specifically seems to be giving them way more problems than an app like Instagram should be giving you. Like it's by no means something super demanding for a chip like the A17 Pro. And to the overall wider discussion, I have to say, um, I don't want people to downplay criticism of the cooling system of the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. There are no proper heat pipes, no vapor chamber heat sinks, nothing that basically helps spread the heat of when the processor has to do a lot of work. That can lead to a lot of heat soak, which can then lead to the phone having to thermally throttle itself, which means give less power to the chip and therefore deliver lower performance or they have to regulate the power otherwise that can mean lowering the display brightness especially if you're using a lot of demanding uh, phone stuff at the same time like running it over 5g while playing a game in the bright sunlight granted that will impact every phone to some degree but it seems that like iphones are notoriously bad for handling a lot of heat at once 
what does not seem to have be specifically an issue over previous generations for pro is the titanium chassis though and apple themselves is saying that the titanium chassis is actually supposedly better at heat dissipation than any previous generation pro models with stainless steel frames so it remains to be seen whether or not some internal layout changes could also contribute to heat soak happening faster or the a17 pro having a generalized higher power consumption than something like the a16 or at least at peak performance but for now we will limit those discussions until we get that promised software fix uh, fixes to apps that apple is specifically laying out maybe somebody can save like older versions of those apps and then test them out versus newer versions um, and of course i will stay on top of that i will report it to you so please again hit the notification bell if you're already subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet of course please subscribe so you can check my further stream streams uh, and um, VODs like this. Those happen somewhat unregularly, but uh, it, they are still somewhat important, I hope. Um, yeah, I thank you very much for your continued support. I've said it in my last couple of streams. We have had incredible growth on this channel, over 3,500 new subscribers in the last two weeks. And I hope to keep this growth going and I hope that you can become a part of the MarkTech community. So without holding you up any further, this is MarkTech tuning out.